check it out. The man, Tomas Moves, the guy from Don Papa, who's in charge of this whole thing, produced the whole thing, sponsored the whole thing. Check out this belt, you guys. That's the prize. That's the prize, man. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. love it, I love it. Oh my God, man, what are your thoughts about tonight? Uh, so far, what I've noticed uh, with every finalist that's been setting up, they seriously brought their A game. It's pretty awesome. The creativity just yeah. spread all across four bars. And uh, I'm pretty excited to see what they present. I'm gonna tell you, Long Beach, it's like the hot spot right now for cocktails. I mean, like, everyone back there is super talented. And in the last, I don't know, year or two, the level of the cocktail game here has really gone up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And even last year, right, like all the cocktails were so close with the competition. They were off by like one point each, mm -hmm. right? Super close. And this year, I expect the competition to be just as tight. So uh, Tomas is kind enough to bring me back as a judge. I'm excited. Super excited because we've got our defending champ who's going up against a, a whole new group of people that he didn't compete with last year. Yeah. So it's going to yeah. be interesting to see what happens here, right? And I know he's dying to get this. Yeah, thing. yeah. I mean, <laughs> I want it. I want it. You know, I, like, I, I know. I want to keep it. Right. It's like, how do I just jump back into yeah, this competition? Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, the competition is definitely yeah. leveled up this year. And let's see. Let's talk about what do they win? What does the winner get? Okay. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, the winner actually comes back out with me, or comes with me to uh, Tiki Oasis. Love it. The uh, largest tiki festival in the world, right? Yeah. 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 In San Diego at the beginning of August. So we're gonna take the winner. They get two nights plus tickets to Tiki Oasis, and they get a guest bar shift at Casa Sugarlandia. That's the Don Papa, the Don Papa experience. Suite. Yeah. Yeah. Patio suite experience at Tiki Oasis. And if you went last year, you know they don't mess around. You don't mess they around. They don't mess around. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm so looking forward to that. <laughs> it's going to be a fun weekend. But first, we're going to get through this. I'm looking forward to this. Let's get into this, man. I mean, like, yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. All right, let's go. Here were the judges. So I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have been asked to come back and judge again. I was a judge at last year's competition, but here's what's cool. We got Dane here who was a competitor last year yeah. <laughs> and he's a judge now. Yeah. And then we've got our friend Brian who's from Eater LA. So I think we've got a pretty seasoned panel of judges here. What do you guys think? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you guys uh, looking forward to the most? I want to see the creativity from the contestants. I know it's a really great product I worked with them last year, so I'm really excited to see what they deliver and if they can top what they did last year. Yeah, I'm with Dane on that one. I also feel like rum's having its moment. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, whiskey and gin have always had their moments, right, but right. I feel like, especially SoCal, rum tasters are finally getting to understand the nuances and the complexities of rum, so I'm stoked. Here comes the rum. Yeah. Here's the thing, in the past year or two, Long Beach cocktails have really ele elevated their game and everybody back there is pretty highly skilled, right? Last year's Tropical Shakedown, everyone was separated by like a point. And I expect the same thing to happen tonight, yeah, right? I so so I, I think it's going to be a tight competition just like last year. And I'm looking forward to seeing the creativity and trying all the flavors that all these guys are going to be. Absolutely. And actually, like Dane, what's cool about having Dane on board is Dane has had his hand in literally shifting yes. Long Beach's yes. cocktail scene. Absolutely. Like, I, we've, I've had conversations with Dane about how for the first time, um, I don't know if you remember when Stash Bar opened. It was the only place you could get Hudson Baby Bourbon at the time. Oh, wow. In wow. the entire city. And that was maybe a decade ago. So Long Beach has seen this huge skyrocket in yeah. quality yeah. of its bars, its mixology. So it's going to be a cool night. And it's going to it's gonna show tonight, too. I know Absolutely. it is. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 One of the great things about last year, we founded the Long Beach Bartenders Guild. So now this year, we're sponsoring the competition. Yes. Yes. So really, we've had a chance to kind of cultivate and educate a lot of the bartenders. So I really think Long Beach is going to position well in the next couple of years to be one of the best cocktail cities in the world. 
I love it. Yeah, I think it's already there. Oh, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's already there. Here for yeah, sure. yeah. All right, folks, check it out. We've got my homegirl Crystal in the house. Now I met Crystal last year at Tropical Shakedown last year, and she made an excellent cocktail as well, inspired by flavors from the Philippines. Yes. And. I just learned she's going back to the Philippines tomorrow. Yes, I'm super excited. How exciting is yeah. that? Plus, we get her, we get to spend some time with her tonight at Tropical Shakedown. Man, so much has happened. A time. So a time. here's the thing. I met her a year ago at Tropical Shakedown. And since then, we've grown to be very good friends. And, and I love my girl Crystal here. She's she's so fantastic. She's fabulous. Not just the cocktails, but she's a stellar person. But on top of that, she's done all kinds of stuff. So, one of the co-founders of the Long Beach Bartenders Guild. Yes. Right? And that's where I met Dana Tomas all at once. I didn't know Dane before that competition. So it was really cool. And that's the thing about this competition is that last year, everyone seemed to be strangers. Mm -hmm. And then this year, they've all grown to be uh, like, colleagues great friends, right yes we're all, we're all great friends I, I'm not a bartender but I'm great friends with everyone that competed last year with Dane and Sonny and you and Jacob and I remember I didn't know Jacob I didn't know Sonny I didn't know Dane yeah I knew Jesse very very like in the minimal level but now we're even closer so it's it's been a journey I love it yeah yeah and Addie where's Addie oh and Addie I hope yeah. she comes tonight I hope she comes tonight <laughs> but too. yeah same with Addie I yeah. barely knew her at the time, so it was it was pretty cool. So I'm wondering, like, what are your thoughts? You're not competing this year. I know, I know. Everyone keeps saying you didn't enter. I was like, mm, I mean, it, to me, I just wanted it to be fair, especially since uh, the bartenders guild was the production side, and so I was like, right, you know what? Gotta right. give the the new blood more chance. Right, right. New blood. What do you think? is gonna take for them to win as someone who's competed in this before? Um, definitely things that you do not see on the average. We're talking about just thinking beyond the glass, you know, more of an experience from the taste to the smell, you know, hitting all the senses. Yeah, yeah. And presentation, I feel like, is always key. Presentation, presentation. is huge. You right? gotta bring everything to these competitions. But, but I love, like, all of it's actually really important, right? The presentation, the balance, and this is a Don Papa competition, so we want to taste the Don Papa. Oh, definitely. Right. What definitely. are you guys going to do with the Don Papa? So I'm excited to try them all. I know everybody that's in there is highly skilled. So we're going to have, a, I think, a very close competition. I believe so, too. Yeah, all right. They're all very talented bartenders, and they're all from Long Beach. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Contestants, my friend Brian from Roxanne. Are you ready for this, bro? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I'm excited because so when I go to Roxanne's, I've only had a couple things from you, and they're always kind of simple. So it's gonna be cool to see you bring your A game today. I hope so. I always like to keep it simple no matter what, though. So that's probably gonna translate in my cocktail as well. That's awesome. Now, tell me a little bit about what you're making today. So I'm doing a um, cold brew. Sorry. Um, I'm doing a Don Papa cocktail with a cold brew from Costa Rica, which I use pandam syrup when I ground it up. Oh, nice! Yeah, so so that pound uh, that grounded up pandam that I use after extraction, yeah. I put that into my cold brew. Yeah. So that that beautiful flavor. I really wanted to let Don Papa talk for itself and like that that be delicious. center stage. That sounds um, awesome. A nice whip on top with also a little bit of the essence of pandam, coconut flakes. We're gonna burn it, and then it's gonna be served um, with a pastry. Oh, very nice. So, God, I'm excited to, to try that. You know, here's the thing. When we get these drinks from these pros, man, they, they always take it to the next level. So, you nervous, bro? Always nervous. Okay, cool. But it keeps you, keeps yeah, you sharp. Yeah, yeah, awesome. I love it. Well, I'm wishing you the best of luck. Thank you. All right. I can't wait to try your drink. <laughs> All right. Check it out. We've got Heather in the building. Hi. And she's competing along with all the others here for Tropical Shakedown, I'm excited to try your drinks. Because you? I don't think I've ever had any of your drinks before. 
I don't know. Have I or have I not? At the Fernet event, did you try my drink? Because you really missed out if you didn't try that drink. Well, you know, I, I don't know if I did. I had a lot of drinks yeah. at that Fernet event. I did too. Um, yeah, so, well, we're gonna try one tonight, so. Perfect. I wanna start by asking you first, are you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> well, I you, wanna say no, you but it's a You yes. carry yourself very confidently. <laughs> so, yeah. it, you don't look you nervous. It. You don't look, yeah, yeah, that's what I do, yeah, right? Yeah. So you don't look we're nervous to it. me. You don't look, yeah, yeah we, we are. You don't look nervous to me, <laughs> but uh, I can imagine, I mean, you know, any competition is gonna bring the nerves out a little mm -hmm. bit, right? But I'm sure the cocktail is going to be stellar. Can you tell us about it? I can, it's inspired by um, a trip I took with my boyfriend to uh, Northern Australia. It's one of the only places you can legally hold a koala, so I went there, oh, obviously. Nice. <laughs> I have pictures if you wanna see it, it's I adorable. love it, I love it. But um, it's a beautiful area, they have a lot of passion fruit, like fresh passion fruit, macadamia nuts, bananas, and I incorporated all of that into my cocktail. Oh, very good. And somehow it tastes like a high chew and I'm into it. Oh, I love it, so yeah. not just Tropically inspired, Australian inspired mm -hmm. flavors of Australia. Yeah, gotta throw something a little love different it. in there, you I know? I love it. I love yeah. it. Well, I'm excited to try it. Awesome. And we're gonna find out who ends up walking away with the prize tonight. Yeah, right? But I'm gonna wish you the best of luck. I thank you. And let's do this. Let's do it. All right, I'm ready. here we go. Yeah. All right. We've got Ashley, one of the contestants in the Tropical Shakedown competition today. How are you feeling? You know, a little nervous, but also good. Good, good, good. So I'm excited to try your cocktail. Can you tell us a little bit about it? So it's something I've been working on for a couple of years. Okay. Um, I started working at Lipton's in their Pacific Seas Tiki Room oh, a couple nice. years ago. Okay. And so got really um, excited about tiki drinks in general. Okay. And so I started looking into those and um, wanted to make something that was uh, reminiscent of my childhood and where I'm from. Okay. And there's nothing that goes together like Tiki in the Desert because of the escapism. The so, escapism. Yeah, and so I thought back to like my college job, which was at actually the Yogurt Oasis. Okay. <laughs> and was so, it really called Yogurt yeah, Oasis? Yeah. Wow, all right. And so it was like a little Vietnamese uh, yogurt shop and we had right, sandwiches right. and stuff like that. So, you know, we had a lot of different flavors and banana, lime, those were actually flavors that we had that I mixed together. And so, with the banana and coffee being in college at that time, yeah. was very important. Yeah. And so playing around with things, I figured, you know, it cuts the sweetness. Okay. And so to reminisce like, on that and, you know, the necessary caffeine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So are you excited about this? Are you excited? I mean, so I'm not familiar with your drinks. I'm excited about trying this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the competition is going to be close today because everybody back there is super talented. Well, they're all talented. They're all yeah. incredibly talented. Yeah, yeah. So I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready? ready. All right, here we go. Here we go. Check it out. The defending champion, our man Sonny Espanda. He won the very first Tropical Shakedown last year. And they're coming after you, Sonny. They are. They are. You know, I was. Uh, the whole week, you know, I've been prepping, getting ready. I've been trying really hard to not go ahead and get overzealous. Just, okay, okay. Um, I feel that to stay champion, I, I need to really uh, kind of beat myself again. So that, that's a that's a that's a good way of uh, a good strategy, yeah. I should say. Yeah, yeah. So it's just yeah. that mentality that I have right now. Yeah. So you know, the thing about Sunny's drinks, uh, they're always very complex. Last year, a, a really complex drink. Are you doing something complex again this year? You know, it's funny. So what I'm trying to do is actually even go even more simpler. So the whole goal was simplicity, but still complex. Okay. So I think I even have less ingredients from last year. Okay. But okay. the time and care and patience I really took, and that really took the time of each ingredient, is elevated upon levels from the last year's cocktail. So Very there's nice. less ingredients, but more technique. Uh, more precision, more okay. accuracy, and just really, I really hone my craft, and I really think, honestly, I could win it again this year. Oh, okay, that's 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 a bold statement. I'm excited to try the drink. Can you tell me a little bit about it? So we'll be doing a um, Spanish orange sorbet, which is in Spanish also called a hopote naranja sorbet, and then we're gonna be doing a smoked on papa with cumin, toasted peppercorn, and as well as uh, applewood American oak chips, charred applewood American oak chips. Very nice. And uh, we're going to do an overview of lemon liqueur 
and then we're also gonna do a Brazilian lime juice and then a mango velvet falerno. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Man, I can't try to wait to try this one. I'm so lucky to be a judge again this year. No, me I too. To, I get to try it. I'm right? excited. I'm excited to uh, to be, just perform again and really see what right. where it takes me. Right. I know I said I think I can win it again, but you know we still gotta keep 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 our toes on. We're gonna find out. We'll We're find gonna out. find out. But I'm still gonna wish you the best of luck. Of course, thank All you. All right, brother. I appreciate you. Thank, thank you, you, man. Thank you. All right, we're about to get started here. But you guys are probably wondering how we're gonna judge this thing, right? So, presentation, creativity, balance, and especially the rum itself, right? Don Papa is the sponsor putting this thing on. So, we wanna know what are you guys doing with that spirit? And we wanna see if it shines through and if it adds to the balance and all that kind of stuff. And then overall, an overall score, overall rating, uh, if we like the drink, right? So uh, five categories, we're judging those based uh, with a score sheet, and then we're gonna add those up and we're gonna find out who our new Tropical Shakedown champion is for 2023. I wanna wish all the contestants the best of luck. I know you're all super skilled and I know that you guys are all bringing your A game, so I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys do. And Good luck to all of you. All right, you guys ready? Ready, yeah, let's ready, do this. ready to judge some cocktails? I'm thirsty, let's go. All right, all right, here we go. All right, our first judge and my opponent, he's actually going to take it from here. He's a long time Tiki enthusiast, he's an active member in the Tiki community, supporter of the Tiki revival. And he's considered one of the major influences of the Tiki scene. And he's the host of Inside the Desert Oasis Room, my man. Adrian Eustachio. Okay, and uh, I just want to give a shout out to all of you who submitted a recipe for the competition. You know, it takes a lot of courage to put yourself out there, and I appreciate all of you for submitting. And, and just because you didn't make it this time, you put yourself in the ring. So, congratulations on putting yourself in the ring. You know, there's always going to be another ring to jump into, and the fact that you put yourself out there means a lot to me. But I think it, it's, it, it's important for the energy of this Long Beach hospitality community, right? Cool, so thank you. All right, so I'm gonna hand it over. I'm gonna stop talking and hand it over to Adrian. Take it away. All right. Thank you, Tomas. What's happening, everybody? You guys as excited about this as I am? Come on. Tuesday, right? Take it Tuesday right here inside Navy Room. The contestants here in Long Beach are top notch. And uh, you guys have sample cards. There's four of them there so you can try the cocktails from each competitor and you have a chip. And you're gonna use that to vote for your favorite cocktail. Just a reminder, the grand prize winner gets a trip to Tiki Oasis. Two nights and tickets, and a guest bar shift to showcase their winning cocktail. Of course, the bragging rights, but most importantly, where's that belt? Let me show that belt. There's the belt. All right, check out behind the bar, look at Tomas. Look at that belt. I want that belt. You want that belt. They want that belt. We're gonna find out who gets a ticket home tonight.
because I didn't want to use simple syrup and you didn't know why in a few minutes. So, our next ingredient, overproof yuzu lemon liqueur. I really wanted to capture the Japanese beautiful essence of that lemon. So, because of that, I was able to get floral notes, that's interesting. sweet citric notes, and a bitter rind. But you know how I am, so that still wasn't enough. So, I actually added an overproof gender of rum to give it a fine and a fine points to the cocktail. Now, to my favorite ingredient, Popote, naranja, sorbet. This sorbet is going to be a Spanish plum orange sorbet. Because of why I'm using that is the Spanish actually migrated the Spanish plum to the Philippines in the 16th century. And back in the day, my mom actually, my mom actually used to eat this fruit as a kid with cumin. Hence, our next ingredient. But, this is also a technique and a tip for every any bartenders out there. You use sorbet as a dilution technique to really control the spirit presence of the cocktail. Now, the next ingredient that we're all here for, gopapa. Judges, you get ready for the don't experience because this isn't any ordinary gopapa. This gopapa is going to go with salted peppercorns, applewood oak chips, smoked, uh, smoked applewood oak chips, charred applewood oak chips, and cumin. And because of that, I was able to reverse engineer the deleteness in the gopapa and really bring out the other flavors where it's even aged in oak barrels for seven years. So now, as we begin the late stages of this presentation, we're going to do our smoke. The smoker that I'm using over here on top of the cocktail is actually made from an artesian Angel Bermudas based in Long Beach. They only create these for this specific cocktail because this isn't any just regular smoker. This is a Volcano Mountain Lone original smoker. And inside the smoker, we're going to go with dehydrated lime zest and that's peach tea botanical. That really brings up the aroma from the tropics, the musk, and the hot, the hotness where you're just sitting down on the beach and just enjoying the present moment, honestly. So, let's get to lighting. As I light these cocktails, go to the sweet red with the palate cleanser. The palate cleanser will be the sweetest cheese over here to my, in the middle. And you may ask why I'm using sweetest cheese with a Filipino cocktail. Well, another fun fact. So we didn't act on Switzerland. I've been calling it seaweed the entire time. Switzerland actually put their first Asian embassy in the Philippines. So I thought that was a great connection. And this cheese really resets the palate and goes well with fruit, which my cocktail carries about four or five fruits. So now let's smoke. Yeah, let's bring all the contestants up here to the stage. Come on up. Yeah, 
Where you at? Where you at? The finalists! Where are our contestants? Ashley, Brian, Sonny. Brian, Sonny, and we have our judges up here. Guys for competing. Thank you. Besides, I'm two friends. <laughs> and thank you, judges. All right, so this was a fun competition. The drinks were all delicious. Delicious! As I mentioned before we started, we have the best of the best up here. And y'all should be very proud for what you serve. So thank you. <laughs> all right, we're going to start with our People's Choice Award. The winner of People's Choice gets three nights. Three nights, right? Three nights and a $150 bar tab here at the West End of this beautiful hotel, downtown Long Beach, where one of our judges runs the bar, Daniels. All right, so our winner, our runner-up, or I'm sorry, our winner for People's Choice Brian. Yeah. Congratulations, Brian. Give it up for Brian. You guys ready for the yeah. champion of Tropical Shakedown 2023? You guys, awesome job, thank you. We thoroughly enjoyed your cocktails. And this was a tough one, you guys. I mean, they're all A-game, right? They're all A-game. But our winner just wants something to go with his medal from last year. Sonny! He did it again! What happened here? <laughs> what happened what here? Happened? All I did. Look at this guy, man. This thing, it matches the medallion you got last year, right? Yeah, it's just slightly bigger, like three, four times. Oh my god, oh my god, man. Sonny, Sonny, you're changing the game, brother. You know, Long Beach is, you gotta be proud of you now. You know, uh, we're proud of you that you're representing Don Papa. We're excited to do another TK Oasis with you. Oh, here we go. You know, oh. and that. Honestly, that was like I need a win because we need to go back to win. To win, what, what do we need to win? Best overall. And that, and that was one of the main motivators. I was like, I need to go back. Best overall. There you go. I needed to go back, but honestly, you asked what I changed. I honed a skill. A little backstory. I lost a competition a while back in December, and that really changed my perspective in a lot of things. And I really had to mature as a person because I, I did come overzealous and I did come cocky. So I made sure going into this that any that I'm, I'm not invincible. I'm anyone can beat me. So using I use that as my strength to really create this new level of love it, of love magnitude. it, love it, love it. Well, you know there is something cool about a repeat. We're we looking at a three peat Repeat? You know I'm. Maybe, maybe. I'm gonna tell you, man. You got a target on your back, bro. Like people, <laughs> maybe I'm people. a judge. Maybe I'm a oh, judge. Maybe you're a judge. Maybe I'm oh, next there you year. go. Next year. We'll okay. We'll okay. We'll okay. We'll okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I mean, like, hey, man. Um, you know, just just like you did before, it's the attention to detail, and I love all the, the little details, tributes to the Philippines, the yeah. volcano, yeah. Um, it's just the stuff in the ingredients, man. Yeah. I mean, like, thank you for respecting our culture, of thank you for respecting the brand, yeah. and um, yeah, man, we're stuck with you always, just again, again, again. Oh. <laughs> I don't have the time. I mean, if you want me. 
We want you to, Sonny. We're proud that you're representing our brand. Yeah. All right. All right. Congratulations, brother. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank all right. All right. <laughs> there you go. Tropical Shakedown 2023. Our oh. man, Sonny. Watch out now. Sonny. Watch out now. We're, we're throwing out a challenge to all you out there for Tropical Shakedown 2024. Yeah, yeah. Bring your A-game. Bring your A-game. All right, thanks for joining us for another episode of Inside the Desert Oasis Room.